Okay, so we have two parts, one printed on that Ender clone, and I have one printed on the, the uh, CR30 belt printer here. A uh, little thing to note, and you'll notice the top surface on the clone, the Ender clone, and look at the top surface on the belt. It's all lines. In fact, every side, even the bottom, is all lines. Now, take a look at the inside of this, where classically, or in this print, we had overhangs. And you can see how totally different that, that looks on the inside compared to the belt printer. Now, let's talk about dimensional accuracy of the parts. Um, this part is 20 millimeters, designed to be 20 millimeters wide and 44 millimeters long. So here we can see it's 20, a shade over 20. And that's just slightly under 20. And 44 millimeters. So that's uh, 43.81, so a little under. And there you go, 44.1, so just slightly over. Then this little knob here, this is about 6 millimeters wide if I remember correctly. Yep, so 6.1. And then here is 6.04, so pretty close as well. And then let's take a look at the hole. So here that's a 4.2 millimeter hole, and that's what that one shows exactly. And this one's showing 4.26, so just a little bit larger. So not bad at all, uh, good apples to apples comparison. Exact same part. Uh, very interesting differences in print uh, aesthetics. This has the uh, typical infill pattern of the top. And it has a very rough overhang on the bottom. Uh, where this one has literally no overhang on the bottom because it's not considered an overhang. Even though it's printed flat like this, um, there is no overhangs in this part. And so every edge has this flat layered look to it regardless of what side it's on. On the sides you actually have a very diagonal look. Now I do see some one interesting artifact on this. If you look at this very carefully it sure looks like that side is not flat but that's actually not the case. Um, it's actually flatter than this side on this Ender um, printer. So they both have the same kind of elephant foot kind of uh, look, and that's just a tuning, tuning issue, not a printer issue. Uh, but on this side here, uh, if you look very carefully, the layers are diagonal, which is, makes sense. It's a belt printer. There you can see some of the artifact of the diagonals and the infill. So uh, the part quality looks just as good as the one off the ender. So not bad.